of fish. channel I'm Kira and in today's video <clears throat> I am going to be showing you what's in this little container so I saw a video that Jay from the Grateful Sun Nights did where she bought the MI Gardener's grab bag and basically what it is um, if it's still going on I'll link it down below but MI Gardener had a grab bag um, special where it, you pay $10 and they send you 30 packs of seeds for $10. The catch though is that you don't get to pick what they send you, they just grab it, um, whatever they have excess of, and they send it to you. So that's what I'm going to be showing you today. I'm going to show you what I got and I'm going to be doing a giveaway as soon as um, either my Instagram channel hits 2,000 followers or my YouTube channel hits 1,500 followers. Whichever one hits first, that's where I'm going to do my first giveaway on. And then the second one, I'll do another giveaway just to thank you guys for being here. I've got a few really awesome things lined up to give away. So um, once I get to 1,500 subscribers here on YouTube, I will do a giveaway. And once I get to 2,000 followers on Instagram, I will do another giveaway. Whichever one comes first is whichever one's gonna be first. <laughs> so let me get into this super long intro. Sorry about that, but I'm gonna show you what I have and I will also show you what I'm gonna stick in the giveaway pile. And as you might have noticed, we have a new name. <laughs> I'm no longer that everyday Kira. We are now Homestead Dreaming. And the main reason for that change is that um, I wanted to include my entire family in this channel. And as we're growing, I feel like when I first started the channel, I didn't have a clear path of what I wanted my content to be. And even though I was doing all these things before, I didn't know that that's where I wanted my channel to go. <laughs> so now that I know a more direct path for the content that I am going to be sharing with you, um, it was time for a name change. And so that everyday Kira is now homestead dreaming. And I know you've heard me say this that particular phrase before, but um, I felt the need to share <laughs> a slight explanation as to why we have a new name. And um, I wanted to reassure you that the content is still gonna be the same. I'm still gonna be talking about baking and kombucha and gardening and sustainability and all that jazz. Um, I just wanted to include my husband and my kids, so homestead dreaming it is. <laughs> Look at all these! $10 for 30 packs! You can't beat that deal. You know, another reason that I really wanted to jump on this is because this is a great way to try new varieties that you wouldn't normally have tried because I wouldn't have picked the majority of these. And honestly, I'm really excited to try some of these. Um, I'm a little disappointed I didn't get any glass gem corn like Jay did, but you know what? I might just have to go ahead and buy my own pack of glass gem corn because I'm really interested in just the novelty of it. <laughs> so let me show you what I got. And um, I will also show you what I'm going to be giving away. All right, so I'm gonna start with I, I have them all mixed up. I have them all mixed up because I've already looked through these. And um, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you in no particular order what I got. So I have a bronze mignonette lettuce. And I actually got two of these. <laughs> so one of these is going into my giveaway pile. And I'm gonna keep the other one. Um, Herba Stella Minutina. And this is a specialty green, rarely grown in mass production, but a very delicious green, cold hardy and grows a bushy shape naturally. 
wonderful in winter salads and cover with light protection and this plant will easily overwinter. So that is exciting. It's high in vitamin C, K, and E. And the leaves are grass-like and have small teeth like serrations. So that's really neat. It's an annual. It looks, it kind of looks like Easter basket grass, but um, I think I've had this before in a salad and I've really liked it, so I'm gonna keep this. Uh, Lola Rosa leaf lettuce. I really like reddish purple um, leaf lettuces, so I'm keeping this. <laughs> Claytonia's um, Miner's Lettuce. I have never tried this and it looks really interesting. Um, it's a wild green found growing um, on the west coast of the United States and discovered by 49ers looking for gold that needed vitamin C. Um, to ward off scurvy. So this is really neat. It has little white flowers that grows in the middle of the leaves. So I'm very excited to try this out. Hopefully it's delicious. <laughs> and I'm going to be keeping this. The next one is Tom Thumb Peas. And I actually got two of these. So one is going in my giveaway pile. Tom Thumb peas are one of the most popular home garden vegetables and peas grow really well in the cool weather. I'm going to get some of these started because my chickens have all torn my peas up. So I'm starting over. Next is Shishito peppers. Um, I know because I've gone through this that I have two of them in my pile. So this one is gonna go into the giveaway pile. Um, Shishito peppers are sweet peppers that are a favorite home garden vegetable. The attractive compact plants complement any garden. Peppers are green, turning red at full maturity and the flavor sweetens considerably as it ripens. So that's exciting. I'm gonna stick this in the giveaway pile and I'm gonna go to the next one. Uh, I'm gonna go through here actually to find the other shishito. Here's my other shishito and I'm gonna put it in my keep pile. And then let's see. The next one is the big red sweet pepper. And I, and I have two of these. So this one is also going into the giveaway pile. So the sweet, uh, big, the big red sweet pepper, um, it looks to be like a, it looks like a bell pepper, a big red bell pepper. And I bet it's gonna be delicious. So I can't wait to try these. I can't wait to give a pack of them away. I'm excited. Uh, next is jalapeno hot peppers. I'm excited about these. I only got one, so sorry I can't give any of these away right now. But I grew some last year, um, but I didn't grow it from seed. I actually bought a start from a big box store and I really enjoyed the flavor. Um, so I'm excited about having some more jalapeno seeds because I did not save any jalapeno seeds from the first time. Whoops. So um, yeah, excited about that. Uh, the next one is an Autumn Bell Sweet Pepper. It looks like it is just a sweet red, um, reddish, kind of striped, striped, wow, Kira. <laughs> so it looks, it, it looks to be like a, a reddish, um, a reddish pepper that has some variation in it. Uh, it looks really good and I, I can tell you that all the peppers look good to me because I love peppers. <laughs> uh, and then this is the last pepper. It's a Hungarian yellow wax sweet pepper. I'm excited to try this one. It, um, it looks like it's yellows and oranges. And again, I just really like peppers. So all the peppers. Um, the next thing is swamp milkweed. I. I know that milkweed is just phenomenal for butterflies and especially monarchs. I, I don't have any of this growing. Uh, I don't have any of this growing. Um, it says that the green foliage turns gold in the fall. That sounds absolutely beautiful. Um, I need to do more research on this before I decide to plant it, but um, there's a good possibility that this might end up in the giveaway pile. I don't know yet for sure, but um, I'm gonna do some research on it and see what I think, and um, yeah, I may give this away. So I'm just gonna put it in the giveaway pile for now, just in case. St. John's wort, which is a um, great medicinal herb. I 
don't have any of this. I've never grown it. I've never tried it, but um, it's good for insomnia, depression, anxiety, and you can make it into a tea. So um, I am going to give this a try and set it in my keep pile. This next one I think looks super interesting. It's called lime basil. So I'm really um, hoping that it has a little bit of a limey tang to it. I will be growing this in the spring. Okay, so this next one, I, I've i never seen this before. I know, it, <laughs> I know what it is. But I've never seen it grown like at home before. So it's coffee. And it says that it is a it needs to be kept indoors as a house plant i'm assuming because where we live in the united states um the weather does not support this being a perennial outside so um it says to keep it as a house plant and you can take it out if the overnight temperatures are going to be over 50 degrees um, but it recommends you to bring it inside when it is um too cold so i will attempt to grow these as a house plant and see how it goes. And um, if you hear a weird clicking sound in the background, that would be my children in that room right there. The next one is Top Crop Yellow Beans. They're bush beans and I really like yellow beans. I like green beans. I like bush beans. I like vine beans. I, uh, I like beans. So I'm excited to try these. Um, I have a couple different bush varieties already and I have some vining varieties, but I'm really excited to try these because I really like green beans and I really like yellow beans. So beans, yay. <laughs> so the next thing is Casper. Y'all. So the next thing is Casper eggplant. Um, I am not a fan of eggplant. My mom loves eggplant, but she doesn't live here on a regular basis. So let me read up on this real quick. It says, this delicious and versatile vegetable is very popular worldwide. Um, one of our garden's best meat substitutes. Um, delicious fried in casseroles or with other vegetables grows well in containers. So this would be a really great option for um, vegans, vegetarians, somebody that just wants to eat less meat and for somebody that may have less space. Um, patio garden, apartment gardens, small urban plot like me, um, would be great. But I'm not a huge eggplant fan. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and go and put it in our giveaway pile, so. All right, so the rest of these are all super, um, the rest of these are all tomatoes. So I'm gonna go through here. I haven't tried the majority of these. I've tried to start some of them, but this year was really bad for tomatoes and peppers for me, so I didn't actually get a lot of these. So the first one I've never even heard of, I've never tried, it's called the Stupice Tomato. Um, it looks like it is a saladette size maybe, or maybe even a cherry, I'm not sure. I've never seen this before. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a try. I love tomatoes. I may not have enough room for it, so this may end up in a giveaway later on, but for now, it's in the keep pile. Um, the next one is called Chocolate Stripes. I have this one already, and um, I didn't get to try it, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my giveaway pile because I already have some of these. The next one is called Large Red Cherry Tomatoes and I love cherry tomatoes, I really do. I like putting them in my salad. I like popping them into my mouth as a snack and so this one is going into my keep pile so that I can give it a try. This next one is Black from Tula. I actually already have some of these, so I'm gonna put this in the giveaway pile. Beef steak tomatoes. I don't have this variety, so I'm gonna keep this one. All right, so this next one is, so this next one is the um, Brandywine black tomato. I actually had a pack of this from last year and I gave it away um, for my Christmas. 
giveaway. That's when I hit a thousand followers on um, Instagram. <laughs> so I gave this one away and I didn't get to give it a try. I'm gonna keep it this time and give it a try and see if I like it. Um, so yeah. The next is the Bonnie Best tomato. At some point, I'm gonna have to give more of these tomatoes away because there's only so many tomatoes I can grow. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it for now. So I may end up separating these out and doing a secondary giveaway later um, with some of these and split them out. There's 25 in here, so plenty for me to keep one or two to start and then give the rest away. So I'm gonna keep it for now. Um, this next one is called Moscow Tomatoes. Uh, yellow plum tomatoes. I really like um, yellow cherry tomatoes. They actually look like little teardrops almost. So I'm excited to try these. I've never grown yellow tomatoes. I've never grown tomatoes this shape either. So I'm excited to try these. Are you gonna try these? Yeah. Yeah. Here, put them in here. Hey, 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 hey! We don't want to lose them. Put them in my. No, put them in my keep pile. Put them here in my keep pile. But hey, when we grow them, yeah, you can try these. All right, and then the last one is Tigerella tomatoes. I'm excited to try these. They're an interesting color. They're reddish pink, and they've got yellowy orange stripes. I'm really excited about this. Um, so hopefully. They germinate well for me and they grow well and I get to taste them because I didn't get to taste a whole lot of tomatoes this year or peppers. I was so excited to grow all these different varieties of tomatoes and peppers and then we had- I'm in your YouTube video. Yes. And then we had 50 degree weather and torrential rains in May and um, it just, tomatoes and peppers were gone. <laughs> oh well. So that leaves one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight packs of seeds to go in my giveaway. I also have some homemade goat's milk soap. I have a homemade soy candle. I have a beautiful leather bracelet and I have a homemade calendula oil and possibly a few other little things to throw into my giveaway. Um, I know for sure I will be doing one here on YouTube and I know I will for sure be doing one on Instagram. So stay tuned for those giveaways. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, go do that now. It's homestead.dreaming on Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're notified when I do my giveaway here on YouTube. Also, don't forget to turn on your notifications on Instagram so that you're notified when I do my giveaway there. And if you liked my video showing you this grab bag, don't forget to like the video. And if you're excited about possibly winning these, why don't you comment down below which one you think would be the most interesting to grow. And if you've tried any of these, go ahead and comment down below and let me know if you've tried them, if you like them, what you thought, if they were tasty or not, whether you would grow them again. And uh, yeah, just hit me up down below. I love the conversation.